lead, 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 lead. Everybody loves to get leads in their business. If you want to learn how to get more leads in your business and why it's important, stay tuned here. Hey, so if you're in business, if you're an entrepreneur, you know how important leads and talking to people is to your business and your success. So if you haven't watched my other video, go and check it out here on the top right corner. It's uh, where I talk about the four pillars with Dan Locke and you know how he presents these different things. But going back to step one, lead generation. Why do you need leads? Look, I don't, if you're living on this planet Earth, I don't care what you're selling, I don't care you know, what it is that you do, whatever, probably, and I, I don't know because I, I guess there are some artificial intelligence things out there doing things online, but probably 99.9% .9 of the time, human beings are buying from you, whether it's online, whether it's in person, whether if it's over the phone, Whatever ways that they're communicating with you, it's irrelevant. That money is coming from a human being that made a decision to do something, to make a decision, to get the product, to get the service, to do whatever they're going to do, right? And they've decided to come to you. So why is lead generation important? Well, of course, that's a fairly easy question to answer because again, those human beings, they need to buy from you and for your business to be successful, you need leads. So today what I want to share with you is actually three strategies that are going to help you improve your lead generation. Okay, so let's dive into it. Strategy number one, personal media platform. If you haven't watched my other video, go here and check out Dan Locke's uh, four pillars of business. He talks about the importance of personal media platform. Now, this is everything that you're putting out as far as YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, all of the things that are showing, that are representing you, what you are about. You know, this is all the information that you're putting out there, whether it's articles, if you were interviewed in the news, you know, if you have a TEDx talk, if you're there with influencers, if you uh, have a podcast, whatever these things are, this is everything that comes into it. So building your personal media platform does two things that actually pre-frames your prospect to say, hey, you know, I kind of like this individual. Let me see what they're about. Maybe I want to do business with them because they've provided me with so much value. They've shown that to me. And number two, it's also building that trust relationship to say, hey, this person has, you know, consistently releasing this information and is, is putting the things out there. And he was at this event or she was at this event and he's with that person and she got interviewed by that person. So it's creating that trust factor with the individual. OK, strategy number two is marketing. OK, marketing is important. The biggest mistake that a lot of entrepreneurs make and I personally made myself is not knowing your market, not knowing your ideal audience. Look, I, I know this example, maybe I overuse it, but I think it's just such a great example. If you have the best steak in the world and you walk into a vegan or 100% vegetarian restaurant, they're probably not going to buy from you. So even though you have the best message, even though you have the best product, even though you might have the best price, those individuals are not going to buy from you. So when you're going and you're delivering that message to your ideal customer, you need to understand marketing. OK, you need to understand what it is that they want. Are they the right person to buy your product? Are they the right business to buy your product? So marketing is very, very important. And then last but not least, I know this is oversaid and people like Frank Kern, Grant Cardone, Gary Vaynerchuk, they all keep on saying the same thing and it's hard and it's the hardest part to do. Number three, frequency and consistency. Look, if you're anything like me, you probably have a lot of things going on. OK, you might have things uh, you might have a regular scheduled job from nine to five or maybe you're already some sort of uh, salesman or an entrepreneur or a real estate broker or whatever you're doing. And you have certain activities, certain office hours, a certain time of the day where you're just not available. And look, I understand that it's very hard. OK, but the only way to get up to it is just getting it done okay even if it's five minutes a day even if it's one post per day 
is doing it every single day consistently. Now, for example, one of my future YouTube strategies is, is going to be to release content, but not necessarily release it every single day. Now, I know there's a lot of things out there that say you should put content on YouTube every single day. One of the things that I would like to do, and a lot of people have done this successfully, growing over the million uh, person subscriber, is releasing quality content that is really researched, really focused, and maybe they're only publishing two to three times or one time per week or even bi-weekly, but their content is just so good, it's so focused, okay, that every time that they release that video, it's good. Now, that being said, if you're playing on Facebook or TikTok or Snapchat or some of these other platforms that might come out in the future or some of these that are gonna die off or Instagram or whatever you are, some of these platforms, yes, you know, we need to find a way to be consistent every single day. Maybe it's just taking one post and repurposing it. Maybe you take the same exact post and post it on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on Instagram. It might not be the right strategy or whatever, but frequency and consistency, that's what kind of tricks the algorithm. So look, I know all of this stuff is hard and I know some of this stuff was redundant, but I really hope you got value from it. If you want more information on how to market your business and how to be better at delivering your message, how to be better at prospecting, how to really understand marketing, I encourage you to go and check out onlinemaxer.com forward slash marketing. There, David Sharp, okay, Dave Sharp, he's actually a very bright and successful online marketer who him and his team and other individuals that he's helped coach and his businesses have done over a quarter billion dollars in sales, okay? And this is in online marketing. But what I really like about it is that there's different uh, tracks that you can take and there's different things that you can learn and it's really priced from everywhere from $7 all the way up to thousands of dollars. So there's really very small uh, you know, price to entry in order to really get accessible information. So if you want more information on that, go to onlinemaxer.com forward slash marketing, okay? Again, that's onlinemaxer.com forward slash marketing. The things that you will learn in there will help you improve your lead generation, and then that will help you really drive your business forward, okay? So again, that website is onlinemaxer.com forward slash marketing. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you on the next one.